substantive amendments through here that we brought a more substantive amendment that is more thorny on the issue of the Sexual Offences Act, which is uh, where minors engage in sex with minors. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I have no problem with the proposed amendment to the Trustees Perpetual Succession Act, but I wish in that amendment they would have also brought amendments on how you change trustees when they leave or when they retire, and that is uh, still problematic. On the issue of Utama Duni Day, I was actually very keen to listen to both the mover and the seconder to see what reason we want to remove Utama Duni Day other than the fact that it is aligned to Moi, and we may not like Moi for whatever reason. I may have no problem with Moi. I don't understand why we want to remove Utama Duni Day, and yet we create impromptu environmental days or uh, tree planting holidays. Why can't we then use this Utamaduni Day to do every other thing, including planting trees, including uh, dancing and smiling? All those are Utamaduni related issues. What's the point of order, leader? Okay, Honorable Speaker, it was not a point of order. I was seeking to inform Honorable uh, Mili. I did not she ask not, to be informed. I'm know, sorry. I'm on, sorry. On you cannot inform me. You asked that you are on a point of order. You are not on a point of information. You cannot inform me without my permission. Order, I'm sorry. Order, 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 leader. You cannot inform me without my permission. Honorable Mili, order. Mr. Speaker, I've said it before this house before. I'm very fairly informed. I don't need Honorable Nchungwa to inform me. Uh, leader, did you want to inform Hon Mili? She's saying she doesn't want to be informed. If you have a point of order, then proceed. And I thought it was a point of order. Yes, Chair, because uh, Honorable Mili might not have been there when we were moving the bill, and uh, she is uh, debating the bill as it is published, but I did indicate uh, at moving that that clause is part of the items that we intend to amend for deletion because uh, there has been a change uh, following what happened on Otamaduni Day this year. So that particular day of 10th of October will remain being a public holiday and especially themed around the issue of climate change mitigation. And uh, as much as Millie did not want to be informed, it is good for her to just learn that without being informed, but now she can learn something. Uh, Chair, I like, to, I like to learn things which are substantive, which are intellectual. So I would want to encourage Honorable Echungwa the next time you want to inform me, inform me at my intellectual capabilities. Don't inform me over mundane things like that. Because those are things that I just raise in passing. But I talk about issues of substance. Mr. Speaker, I have a problem with... Uh, proposed amendment to the Traffic Act, Section 1179 of the Traffic Act, which provides that if any unauthorized person removes a notice affixed on a vehicle or tears or defaces the notice